Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a slew of leaks from Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake, a brand new Radeon GPU was released, tons of leaked RTX 3000 cards, and Nvidia's RTX 3090 is twice as fast as the 2080 Ti. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, a ton of marketing videos on Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake launch have been slowly leaking out from Twitter user WalkingCat. And as you can see, these are really professional videos so there's pretty much no way they're fake. Regardless, they give us a few interesting details. For one, Intel is getting a complete overhaul to their branding, from the company's logo to core processors and more. Some of this leaked a little while back but it's very apparently true. It also shows off their Evo branding which we think has to do with the upcoming big dot little design from Alder Lake. We can also see in this part right here that it shows a processor boosting up to 4.8 GHz which is definitely not bad. Intel's event is set for September 2nd so make sure to subscribe to stay caught up with that. Next up for today AMD quietly launched a brand new Navi based GPU. It's called the Radeon RX 5300 and as you can see it's right on their site. It's obviously a low-end model aimed at 1080p gaming and I will say that it looks like an OEM only part. At least that would definitely explain why AMD didn't make a big deal out of it. Especially since, at least according to their testing, the RX 5300 completely crushes the GTX 1650 by as much as 56%. When it comes to specs, the 5300 comes with 22 compute units, a boost clock of 1645MHz and a gaming clock of 1448 Interestingly, AMD had to make a really odd 96-bit memory bus due to the 3 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. Either way, I will say that it's definitely nice to see AMD offering Navi-based cards all the way down their product stack. Next up for today, we're finally seeing leaked renders as well as specs of third-party RTX 3000 cards, so let's get to it. Starting things off, we have a few Zotac cards, and we actually have some renders of the RTX 3070, 3080, and 3090. As you can see, they all share a similar design but with dual or triple fan shrouds as well as those with RGB or without. As far as my opinion, I've got to say that they look pretty amazing, but I definitely want to see the real life version instead of just a render. One thing that's pretty wild is that the 3090 actually comes with a triple 8 pin power connector so that 350 watt power draw is definitely looking to be true. Actually we know it is based on the second set of renders from Gainward. In fact we actually have a few product sheets from the company that were shared by video cards and on them it has the full specs and they're pretty much exactly what we've seen. The 3090 comes with 5248 CUDA cores with a TGP of 350 watts. And the 3080 comes with 4,352 CUDA cores at 320 watts. Not only that, but it also mentions a 7 nanometer process, so the earlier rumors about these being on Samsung's 8 nanometers look to be false. That, or maybe their lower end models do use it, I'm not sure. Lastly, we have an ASUS ROG Strix that was leaked, and what's really interesting here is that it's identical to that leaked image we saw a little while back of an ASUS meeting. The only difference is that the first image has 3080 Ti right here, while the new one just says Game On. Really, I think this is interesting because it means the original leak was correct. Nvidia simply must have changed the naming scheme at the very last minute. Either way, the RTX 3000 series is coming right around the corner, and I do plan on doing a live stream of the event, which I think will be a lot of fun, so definitely make sure to subscribe for that. Lastly for today, it looks like we have our first look at Nvidia's RTX 3090 performance, and it's huge. The leak was originally shared on Twitter by this user, and as you can see, it's presentation slides for tomorrow's RTX 3000 event. Now before I get started, I will say that this isn't verified, and there are some issues with artifacts in the image, so I'm really not sure. The only reason I'm going over this is because the render in the second image very much looks legit. Still, it's best to take this with a grain of salt. Either way, when we look at the performance slide, you can see that Nvidia claims the RTX 3090 gets around double the performance of Nvidia's RTX 2080 Ti. Yeah, I said double. Now there is one major caveat, it specifically states that ray tracing and DLSS are on and that's really important because it tells us exactly what I thought in my last video, that Nvidia's RTX 3000 is getting their biggest boost in ray tracing. Remember that video cards recently leaked the final specs of the upcoming cards, and as I said in that video, the CUDA core jump isn't all that impressive. 
Of course, CUDA cores may be different, but video cards specifically mentioned a new generation of RT cores and tensor cores. That told me that we should expect much better ray tracing performance, and this actually looks about at the point I mentioned, where we may get around the same performance in ray tracing as we do without it. The one question is whether DLSS makes up a big portion of this difference. It may not since DLSS is on for both cards, but I'm not sure. The main issue, of course, is still price. Even with that performance for the 3090, the price still almost doesn't seem worth it, especially since you're only really getting this with ray tracing turned on. Of course, as always, time will tell. So while that does it for today, are you ready for tomorrow's RTX 3000 event? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.